Hi there, and welcome to this video about upgrading SharePoint hosted applications to client-side applications for SharePoint Online. In the SharePoint Adding model, we used to create SharePoint hosted apps, which were solutions based on client-side code, so JavaScript code and JavaScript object model code, running on a dedicated SharePoint site hosted under a domain related to the uh, SharePoint add-in model. In such kind of solution, we used to consume data in the SharePoint app site as well as in the SharePoint host site, which is the site that we used to extend using the SharePoint add-in. In the new modern development world of SharePoint Online, we can easily create client-side solutions or applications simply using the SharePoint framework and creating SharePoint framework web parts, for example. The UI will be fully integrated with the out-of-the-box modern UI of SharePoint Online, and we can easily consume the SharePoint Online data of the site where we are running our extension, our client-side solution, as well as services provided by any of the Microsoft 365 workloads using the Microsoft Graph API. And eventually, you can also consume custom APIs of your own. You don't need to do anything special in your client-side solution to do that, because all of the planning is provided out of the box by SharePoint Framework. And you don't even need, necessarily need, to register an Azure Active Directory application to being able to consume Microsoft Graph or any other API. From a transformation process point of view, there is no conversion tool to upgrade a SharePoint hosted application of the SharePoint Adding model to a SharePoint framework solution. You will simply need to create a new SPFX solution and to create a new web part or a new extensions with SharePoint framework. Then you can start consuming SharePoint Online and Microsoft Graph using the SPHTTP client or the MS Graph client objects provided out of the box by SharePoint Framework. So let me move to the demo environment and let me show you how to do that in practice. Let's assume that you want to read a list of documents in a document library using a modern client-side solution built with SharePoint Framework. So this is the document library you want to read and this is the web part, the client-side web part that you want to build in order to list the documents inside the document library. How can you do that? Well, using the console window, you can start the Yeoman generator for SharePoint. So yo at Microsoft slash SharePoint. You will have to provide a name for your solution and this one is totally fine. You can select to create a web part you should provide a name for your web part, which could be, for example, consume SPO client side. And for example, you can decide to use React as the UI framework for building the UI of the solution. Then the scaffolding tool will start generating all the code for you and importing all of the NPM packages that will be needed by the solution. It takes a while, so I will fade out and fade in when it's ready. And now the client-side solution is fully scaffolded. So we can start Visual Studio Code and see what we have got generated. So code dot. And here we are. We have got a, an SRC folder in a solution where we have a web part folder. And in there we have the consume SPO client-side web part. This web part extends from base client-side web part and inside the render method is relying on a React component that we can find under the components folder of the web part. The React component will have a set of properties to configure its settings and then in the actual TSX component, so the React component, here you can see this one extends react.component of t, where t is the type of the properties. And eventually, right now we don't have any state, but the React component could have a custom state uh, uh, interface definition. In the render method, we will uh, provide the implementation, the actual implementation of our uh, uh, web part. Now, let me switch to a solution that I have prepared for you, where you can see how you can easily consume SharePoint Online data from such kind of client-side solution. So here I still have a web part to consume SPO client-side, just like as before. Now, this web part is slightly different compared with the 
auto-generated one. In fact, I added an import for the SP HTTP client type from at Microsoft slash SP HTTP. And I created a variable, a private variable of type SP HTTP client in my web part class. Then in the on init method, I simply save the uh, value of the context.sphttp client of this, which is the web part, in the uh, private variable that I have. And I use the this.context.pagecontext.web.absolute URL to get the whole URL, absolute URL, of the website in which I am. And I provide those two information, so the sphttp client instance and the uh, absolute URL of the website as input configuration properties for the React component. As such, in the components folder, I slightly updated the uh, properties interface, adding a reference, uh, an import for the SPHTP client, and defining the two additional properties in the props uh, interface. I also created a state interface uh, in which I want to keep track uh, of an array of uh, I document items where every single I document is made of an ID and a title. So that in the TSX component, so in the actual React component, I can say that, well, in the constructor, I simply want to initialize the document with an empty array. Then in the component did mount, asynchronously, I want to load the document from SharePoint Online. And in the load documents asynchronous function, I simply rely on the ASP HTTP client object that I've got as a property, as an input property for my React component. So here under the cover, I'm relying on the context of SharePoint framework and I make an HTTP GET request using the REST APIs of SharePoint Online, targeting the URL, the absolute URL of the web where I am. And then using the REST API URL syntax, I target underscore API slash web slash lists slash get by title documents, of course you can make it configurable in a real web part, slash items to get all of the items in the document library with the title documents. Once I will make this request, I will get back a response, which can be converted from string into a JSON object, which will be made of a unique property called value, which will be an array of all of the items inside the document library. And as such, I will make it as an array of I document so that I will extract only the ID and the title. And I can set that array as the content of the document property of my state in the React component. So that in the render method of my React component, I can get the document from the state. And in the return of the content of the render method, I can simply say that I want to have an unordered list in HTML and for every document in the documents array that I have in the state, I want to map it to a list item with key equal to the ID and content, text content equal to the title, as long as I have a title, otherwise I will simply skip it. And that's it. This is a very simple scenario where you can easily consume SharePoint online data client-side from a SharePoint framework solution. Here you can find additional links if you want to dig into the topics we covered. And like always, thank you for watching this video.